Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to The Fabulous Fiasco, and today we are going to be making apple fries. Now, I'm not actually frying them, so you're going to need apples, peanut butter for your dip, or honey or whatever you want, a knife, and a spoon. So first, I'm just going to cut open my bag. I'm sorry I haven't been posting that much lately. I just got back from a trip and um, I haven't really had time. I got back Saturday, so wait. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I don't know. Um, you just need one apple, so you don't need a whole bunch. Let's put these up. And then, so, there we go. You're just going to take the apple, going to cut that side, and then you're going to rotate. Cut this side, then rotate again. Ooh, too close to the core, I guess. Yeah, that was really slick. Cut that side, and then last side, just cut that. Then you don't need the core, so it's out of the way. Then you're just gonna kind of cut them into little small fry shapes. Like this. And then you can cut them again. It's a little fry. Delicious. to be careful though. Try not to cut yourself, obviously. Just gonna cut them. This is a really healthy snack, so it's great. Um, if you're young, just make sure you have some adult supervision. Because you have to be very careful. And if you're too young, you could hurt yourself. Cut yourself. Um, even adults can hurt themselves with a knife, so I just prefer you stay safe and not get hurt. Because, I mean, who wants to get hurt? I know I don't. Then we have, and one apple makes a lot, but it also depends on how small you cut them and how big your apple is. And I've been trying to eat healthier, so this is a good snack. Um, don't have to really worry about it. It's an apple. I mean, apples are healthy. So I got my fries. 
a little rise. They're pretty thick actually, like this is a good fill. So now I'm just going to go through them, cut the ones that need to be cut, because some of these are thick, man. Um, I'm going to get like a little plate or bowl or whatever, just to put all the apple fries that are done and ready. Just pretty much cutting all of them in half again. So it's just good, small, especially if you're if like you're making them for a little kid. It's better to be safe than sorry. It's easier to eat too. More like fries. And you can share this with someone, whatever you want to do. It's a lot, man. Um, well, these are going to be skinny, too. Skinny fries. Hashtag fries from McDonald's. Nothing's wrong with the fries from McDonald's, just really skinny. They're really good, but real skinny. Ooh, we're getting an overflowing bowl. Okay, now I'm just gonna leave them on the plate. So much easier. Oh. And I mean, it is still pretty early. It's not that, I mean, it's only 10.34 I just ate breakfast. Got all my fries. Okay, so I got my fries. It's actually a lot. So I'm just gonna. You know, on these life hack videos, it says, like, parenting life hacks. Cut these up. Don't trade them for fries. Your kid will think that they're fries. No, they won't. Kids are smart. Nobody's gonna think this is a real fry. Number one, it's red. Number two, it snaps. Number three, it doesn't taste like a fry. But it's besides the point. Now you're gonna need the spoon and the peanut butter. And I'm just gonna take a scoop. This is my dip. And keep in mind, this is only one apple. And there's seriously so much little apple slices. Mmm. So good, man. Y'all have to try this. And it's healthy, like I said before. Kids are gonna love it. Here's what it looks like. So, thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. It's right down there, the red button, and it's free. And hit the notification bell so you don't miss my new videos. Hope you have a great day. Bye.